This is about the children of Washington being protected from adults who are not protecting them. Our laws clearly state in cases of child abuse or neglect, the state can intervene. I cannot think of a time where we wouldn't say active drug use in and around the home, in front of children, near children, with children, is not neglect, Mr. Speaker. This amendment could not be more important to the underlying bill. In the underlying bill, it states that the court shall give great weight to the removal of the child in these circumstances. Great weight is essentially asking the judge to think about it really hard when these situations come up to the court, if we should remove a child where there is fentanyl in the home. What this amendment will do is strike great weight and add a real uh, standard of law, rebuttable presumption. It presumes that we should remove the child from a home where there is fentanyl present, and it allows the parent to rebut that presumption in court. We need to have rebuttable presumption so that we can have the max protection for kids, Mr. Speaker, and I urge you to vote yes on this amendment because we need it more than anything. When a parent continues to use fentanyl, continues to use hard drugs, continues to put the life and health of that child in harm's way, they have violated that fundamental parenting right that we've been talking about and we agree exists, but they no longer have that. There is a rebuttable presumption that they are no longer fit to be a parent. Urge you to vote yes for this amendment. This amendment, Mr. Speaker, is important for the children of the state of Washington. How many more children have to die before you and I step up and do the right thing? The power that these synthetic opioids have over the human being is undeniably strong. It is so strong that they would be willing to neglect their children to get the next hit. When you take this drug, even a small amount of this drug, you just dissolve into the couch if you live. You don't have an ability to supervise the children. And if you do not have the ability to supervise the children, you do not have the ability to adequately parent and take care of those children. Mr. Speaker, there's days when you can't presume there's good parents. And when these kids are dying with fentanyl, we've got to step in. We've got to speak for the children, the ones who can't speak for themselves. Don't make them grow up like I did. Please vote yes for this amendment. The legislature needs to make sure that we are saving children. We need to change this. You and I need to change this. Fentanyl is killing our precious children all over the state. I am begging you to take this seriously and vote for this amendment. We have set laws and rules, Mr. Speaker, for anyone in a room with fentanyl present, but not children. We in the state of Washington say you are protected if you have to work around fentanyl. You do not have to breathe it in. You will not eat around it. We will not allow you to get exposed to be ill or die, but not children, Mr. Speaker. We do not protect the children. And that is why we want this amendment. What we want is clear, strong language in this proposal that if there's evidence that in the household, the parents or others are using this drug, that that creates a strong, rebuttable presumption that the child is at risk. Without this stronger language, Mr. Speaker, I am afraid that the underlying policy will evaporate and that we will be back here again in another year, in another session, 
having this conversation all over again. This is, amendment is essential, Mr. Speaker. Please vote yes. This amendment is essential to pass this bill. Please join me in voting yes for the thousands of kids around this state that cannot wait for protection. Speaker's about to lock the roll call machine. Speaker has locked the roll call machine. Clerk will take the record. Mr. Speaker, there are 46 yeas, 49 nays, three excused. The amendment is not adopted. You know, when I leave here every single day about the votes that I take and the things that I do and the decisions that I have to make, I have to go home and look myself in the mirror and rectify everything I've done with myself. I have to look myself in the mirror. And every night for the last year, I go home and I think about these kids. Every single night. Because it's totally needless. We can, me and you, we can do something about this. This doesn't have to happen. I just saw a story this morning from Whatcom County where a, a, a young child picked up his dad's straw that he was using to smoke fentanyl and overdose. That was in Whatcom County. How many of these kids have to die? Now, I'm deeply disappointed that we didn't do something like the rebuttable presumption to make this strong, to make sure that there is no confusion, to make sure that the courts don't make up their own decisions about what is great weight and what is not. This is the innocent life of a child. Fentanyl is killing our kids. It is 50 to 100 times more powerful than any other drug. And just over a decade ago, meth was the big thing. And now we don't even think of meth as anything. Fentanyl is so strong. Now, although, Mr. Speaker, I'm deeply disappointed about not taking the amendment, we do need to pass this bill because it is better than the nothing we have now. It's better than the nothing we have now, and we have to start somewhere with the framework where fentanyl is an imminent harm to our kids. Please vote yes, Mr. Speaker, and let's do better next time.